What's up YouTube, Jason here with Bite My Bits. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about transcoding your media off of your Plex Media server into your RAM. If you visit bitemybits.tech, you'll be forwarded directly to my YouTube channel. It's easy to remember and it shows off I'm a tech channel right in the name. .tech domains have exploded in the last couple of years with over 250,000 registrations. And one thing that brands like TNW, Hollywood, and CES.tech all have in common is that they're proud of their tech roots. If this sounds like the level of enthusiasm you have for technology, www.get.tech is offering up to 96% off one, three, and five year registrations. Just make sure to use the promo code BMB for Bite My Bits at checkout to get your discount. Then you can start flying your tech flag high and proud. Now, the funny thing about this entire situation for me is that people have told me this in the past. I thought about it. I even looked into doing it. And for no good reason whatsoever, I didn't do it. And that is setting Plex to use your available RAM as a transcoding folder. And I know what you're thinking. It, it seems pretty obvious. But like I said before, I have absolutely no good reason. I thought about this no good reason why I'm not doing it already, or I wasn't doing it already. So let's recap. If you watched some of my older videos, one, I built a mega server, at least mega to me, uh, called Zeus, and I used a couple SSDs. One in particular was used specifically uh, for the Plex drive. It held all of the Plex data, like the poster arts, the metadata, uh, and it was also the transcoding drive, so everything was wrapped into one. As a little side note here, the same exact server had 128 gigabytes of RAM. I get everything set up, I point everything to the SSD, and if you watched my last video about Zeus, it all kind of came crashing down. And what I mean by that is the Plex SSD, the dedicated SSD for Plex, just took a crap. And I was a little surprised because I thought the cache drive would probably have gotten a lot more use because I do dump a lot of data to the server to and from. Uh, but when I really sit down and think about it, I use my Plex Media server a lot. And that means that everything that needs to be transcoded is being temporarily stored on the SSD that I had in that machine. And if you know anything about SSDs, you're fully aware that SSDs do have a limited amount of writes that they can handle before they go bad. Fast forward like less than a year, the SSD completely crashed. I still think it has something to do with SanDisk being crap, but that's one person's opinion and I have no more data to back that up. Either way, the thing crashed, I had to replace it, now I have some Samsung drives in there, and that got me thinking. Why not just go through with the original idea, multiple people have told me to do this, I've looked into it myself, I know how to do it, it's simple. Why not just make it to where the transcoding uh, files from Plex are being stored directly into the RAM? So of course I did make that change and alongside doing that, I also wanted to run a few tests on my server just to see if there was any kind of difference. Mainly because some people that were telling me to do this were saying like, oh, you know, it'll be faster or, you know, be able to, you know, change transcode, you know, quality faster, that sort of thing. So first of all, in order to get everything set up, if you are using Unraid, I wanna, I wanna put that little asterisk here. This is Unraid based video. I'm sure you can accomplish the same exact thing with something like free NAS, NAS or free or Windows, that sort of thing. Uh, but this is specifically for Unraid. So I go into my server, I make a new path, uh, slash transcode is what I used. I point that to slash TMP or temp. Once I do that, I go back into Plex. I make sure that everything is pointing to transcode. I conveniently enough already had most of this set up, except I just had to change the, the, the path for the host to go to slash temp instead of the Plex SSD. Side note, I accidentally crashed my server by adding two of the same paths. Don't do that. Kind of stupid. So once the Docker is set up, Plex is set up, I can run the test and boom. Before I did all this, I went into the Plex SSD and I did, you know, make note that it is writing data to those SSDs. It's uh, equivalent from anywhere from one to five or six gigabytes when I was starting like five or six different streams. And then after I made those changes, I monitored the server and I looked at the RAM and I did see a change in the RAM being used. So that to me just verified that it's not being stored on any kind of cache drive or temporary folder or anything like that. It is being stored in RAM. And before all this, I did get a baseline on starting back to the future. Future, the movie I usually test things with, and also setting the transcoding to go from the original quality down to 10 megabits per second. So in my baseline numbers, I was able to both launch the Back to the Future media file, playing at full quality doing so, and switch the quality in right around five seconds. So after I made those changes, I went back into the same movie file, ran the exact same test, and I got the same exact results. 
five seconds to start, five seconds to switch to quality to 10 megabits per second, just pretty much business as usual. So what this tells me, switching from the SSD to RAM as a transcode folder, is that my storage median is not a bottleneck. The limitation here is going to be the processors that I have in the machine. And while I do have a dual Xeon system, all of those threads only run at two gigahertz per. So while that might be a little limited on my part as far as taking five seconds to load or five seconds to switch, uh, this was a large file being transcoded down to still a kind of a big file. So it's still, it's understandable to me. So switching it over, I didn't lose any speed. However, I did gain something hopefully is going to be great. And that is utilizing RAM for the transcoding folder is ultimately going to limit the amount of wear and tear that I'm going to have on the SSD throughout time. So if everything goes as planned, that Samsung SSD should last for a heck of a lot longer than the old SanDisk one will. And again, I, there's no good reason for me, I, I even had everything set up for it. All I had to do was just like delete a little bit of uh, text and replace it with slash TMP because I had everything else set up. I had Plex set up, their Docker host path was already set up. It was just pointing to the wrong area. If I really think about it, I think I remember toying with it and then I like ran out of time and set it aside and I reverted back to my old settings just because I knew they worked and I didn't have time to, you know, run my test, verify it worked and, you know, go through all the works to make sure it was a good setup. Uh, so I think that's probably what it is. I tried it, ran out of time, forgot. Now here's some stuff to note, okay? I'm in a unique situation with my server, with Unraid, because I have 128 gigabytes of RAM in the server. Plenty of RAM to do whatever the heck I want to. In fact, most of the time with virtual machines running and the Docker applications that I have, I'm never using more than like 50 to 55 gigabytes of the available RAM. So with Unraid, if I remember right by default, the temp folder that allows you to write to that, that temp folder is like half of your available RAM. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So for me, I didn't have to go in and alter the size of that temp location. I didn't have to make any other major changes. It just utilized what I had available and everything just worked super easy. And it's just as fast as the SSD. I'm not gonna be burning out the SSD with needless writes and everything is just better. Of course, if you have something like free NAS, NAS for free, or Windows, you will have to take an alternative route. I do know, for example, Windows, you could use something like RAM disk to create a temporary, you know, RAM folder or drive that you can write to. That could be an option, but for my setup, it was just way easier. So consider this a public service announcement, if you will. Anybody out there running a, a Plex Media server, maybe even on Unraid or whatever, if you have enough RAM, look into the possibility of running your transcode folder out of your RAM versus on another drive. Because in the long run, if you're using that server enough, you're gonna be wearing that down that drive needlessly just for your transcoding stuff. Well, that's all I have to say about this topic. It's pretty cut and dry, pretty basic. I know I should have been doing this before, but what can I say? As always, thank you for watching, like, and subscribe below, and have a good night.